Hi there, Aquarius. I'm Jennifer Angel, these are your stars. Now, Venus, the planet of, of love and possessions, also governs money, has been in your sign for a little while now, about four weeks, generally stays in the sign. And it's going to ingress into the next sign, Pisces, on the 26th. So for you, Aquarius, this means that it's going to transit into your solar second house. And this is all to do with money and possessions. Now there's a couple of other things happening here, like you know, a bunch of abundance of activity in your solar a, a second house. So let's just go through that. Mercury, first of all, is retrograde. So anything to do with communication and money, you want to confirm. Put in writing, make sure you're all on the same page. Don't make any assumptions. Don't assume anything. There is also a conjunction between Mercury and Mars on the 26th. Um, so you don't want to do anything too rash and be careful that you don't take risks. Like, you know, think before you speak and look before you leap. Um, the other. Uh, the other aspect that's going on in, in this area of your chart is Venus on the 28th is also going to be conjunct with Neptune, which means that, that all information may not be revealed. There could even be some secrets happening, things happening behind the scenes that you don't know of, you're not aware of, you're not privy to. Um, so, uh, and just to add a little bit of confusion to the mix is the full moon this month on the 25th, the start of the week, is in your solar 8th house. So this is resources and uh, perhaps money that's coming from uh, other areas of your life, from other people that are in control of it. So my best advice for you this week is to tread carefully anything around money. There's more to come. So what happens at the start of the week is not likely to be the end of a situation. So try not to lock down anything in concrete. Certainly when Mercury is retrograde, it's never a good time to be signing or confirming any contractual arra arrangements. If you can, um, you know, possibly delay, then, uh, you know, this would be, would be good. Uh, if it's not possible, then you certainly want to just make sure everything, uh, you're happy with everything. Um, make sure someone else has also cast an eye over um, anything that you need to sign or confirm. As make sure that you haven't read the fine print, read the very, very fine print, and read the fine print that's not listed. So, which means ask questions. So, Certainly, as I was about to say, what starts at, what happens at the start of the week may not be how it ends up at the end of the week. So if you can just let things settle down and be a little bit of an outsider looking in for, um, for this week, then that would be wise, okay? Now, on a personal note, um, there we have... Um, the sun is square, Jupiter, and Jupiter is in your solar fifth house, which is an area of your chart where love affairs can start. Now, with the sun square here, I mean, a square is a challenging aspect. With Jupiter, it's always a little bit softer, so it's not as challenging as some of the, the, the squares. You want to be, and all that activity in your second house also highlights the area of self-worth with you. So um, you, you want to be careful that you're not underestimating yourself. You know, you're a fabulous person, and look at your qualities look at your best qualities don't labor on your negatives so you know sit down and write a list of the 10 top things that you like about yourself you know and if that's hard to do then that means you really need to do the exercise because everybody has fabulous traits and what i call irresistible traits and irrita irritating traits we all have both so the point is with all that er activity in your um, second house and the sun squaring Jupiter, you want to focus on the positive, not the negative Aquarius, okay? All right, have a great week. I'm Jennifer Angel. Thanks for watching.